What's up dolls? Welcome back to my beauty room. It's been over a year since I filmed my last tutorial and let me just say that is not okay and that will never happen again. So today I feel like glamming it up but I also want to keep the products really affordable so I'm gonna go in with my baby, the Carly Bible palette. You guys, if you haven't picked up this palette yet, you need to because for one, it's gonna be discontinued very soon and two, the pigment in this palette is just... It's perfection. Like, it's better than some of my high-end makeup palettes, to be honest. Also, it only costs like $14 or $15 at Ulta, so I mean, that's a steal. Like, for a makeup junkie like myself, that's pretty much free. What are you waiting for? Go pick it up. I literally have two backups of this palette because uh, I just never want to run out of it. Personally, I like to work on my eyes first, so I'm just going to zoom you guys in so you can get a better look at what I'm doing. All right, so now that you guys are up close and personal, all up in my grill, I'm gonna start by filling in my brows and I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the color Brunette. This has seriously become my favorite brow pencil. I used to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz to fill in my brows, but ever since I discovered this, I never looked back. So for all you guys asking what I use to fill in my brows, this is it every single day. So usually what I do is I just start by outlining the brow. I like to outline my brow first and then I'll go in and fill it in after. And as I'm moving my way towards the front of my brow, I'm using a much lighter hand just because I don't want them to look so harsh at the end. Even though I'm going to blend it all out, I don't want them to look too, too dark either. Okay, so I'm barely pressing down on my brow. Like I'm literally just using the lightest hand as I fill it in. And little by little, I just go blending it out with the spoolie. I don't know about you guys, but doing my brows is my least favorite part about doing my makeup just because it takes forever sometimes. And if my brows are not right, I feel like my mood is not right. <laughs> I feel like I can't finish my complete look unless I'm completely happy with them. You know what I mean? Some days they cooperate and some days they're a pain in the brain. It's like... It's a gamble with these things. Now I gotta clean these bad boys up cause just look at that. <laughs> they look crazy. So I'm gonna take some of my Maybelline Fit Me concealer with this little, little tiny Morphe detail brush and start cleaning them up. See that? Big difference. All right, now I'm gonna start working on the eyes. I'm gonna use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. You can use any concealer that you have on hand that works just as well, but I'm gonna use this white color just because I feel like, although the palette is really pigmented, this is gonna make the shadows pop a lot more. So I use this primer first. I always like to set the primer because otherwise the shadows will become all patchy once you start blending them in and it'll just become a hot mess. I'm using my Kiko Eyes 200 brush and I'm just blowing out that beautiful mauve color all over the lid first. And just always make sure to tap off the excess because like I said, this palette is super pigmented and it's better to use a light hand than to go crazy and then you can't fix it at the end. So little by little, that's the trick. And chill wipers. See, it's like a car. Think of a car. You see how I'm building it up little by little? That's exactly what you want. If we were to take a bunch at the same time, it would just be a hot mess and it'll take forever to blend out. So I like to build up that intensity. It's a little time consuming, but it's worth it. At the end, it's just so worth it. Windshield wipers. Windshield wiper motion.
I love working with mauve shades. Seriously, besides warm browns, I feel like these colors complement my skin the best. And so anytime I use them, I get excited. Maybe a little bit too excited, but <laughs> anyways. All right, so now that that's all blown out, I'm gonna take the same shadow with a different brush. This is the MAC 221 brush, and I'm gonna intensify that a little bit more. This is where I'm gonna start building that cut crease. I know that this looks like a hot mess right now, but don't worry, it's all gonna come together at the end. It's kind of like that painter. You remember that painter back in the 90s with the big afro? How his paintings looked crazy in the beginning and you're like, what the heck is he doing? Makeup is kind of like that. Like It looks like poop in the beginning when you first start off, but at the end, if you take your time, it becomes a beautiful little masterpiece. I'm using the Kiko brush again, just to blend away some of that harshness. Now I'm gonna put a second layer. See how it gives it a little more dimension? Now I'm going back to the lightest color in the palette and this is where I'm gonna start cutting my crease. I'm taking the NYX number 14 brush because it's really flat. It's gonna make it a lot easier to cut that crease, you see that? People tend to think that cut creases are really hard to do, but honestly, they're not. Like with any other look, you just need the right brushes for it. Voila. Today, I'm just feeling the glam look. I feel like being super extra, so I'm gonna do two wing liners. First, I'm gonna do a white wing. First, I'm gonna create a thicker wing with the NYX white liquid liner, and then I'll go in with the black eyeliner after. All right, let's hope this cooperates today. I like to start with the tail first and then work my way in. All right, I know this looks really intense and the eyeliner looks super thick, but I did that purposely because I'm gonna go underneath with some black eyeliner and I really wanna see the white. So I had to make it thicker. Now I'm gonna go in with the black. You see how it smudged right there in the middle? Don't mind that, I'm gonna go back and clean it up once it's all dried up. All right, I'm done with the eyeliner. Now before applying lashes, I'm gonna do my favorite part of the whole look. This is the star of the show. I'm adding some glitter to my crease. I'm using the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in the color Crystal Pink. All right, I'm gonna keep my eye closed and trace that cut crease that we did earlier. Super easy, easy peasy. Oh, Just make sure you let it dry really good before opening your eye because then it'll get everywhere and you're gonna take forever trying to clean it off your eye. I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on my eyes before applying my falsies. The lashes that I'm gonna be using today are my personal favorite, my All Del Double Wispies. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know how much I love these lashes. They are so beautiful. They're fluttery, but they're not too excessive and dramatic. Oh, they're just perfect. You can use them for a more subtle look or a dramatic look like this one. And the best part is they're so affordable. And apparently a lot of people love them as much as I do because they're always so hard to find in my area. They're the best. I'm gonna add some more mascara on top of the lashes. I always do this, I just love how it looks. And voila, I'm gonna do my other eye off camera and then I can work on my face. All right, let's move on to the face. I'm gonna use this Makeup Revolution Pro Base Primer. This is my first time using it, but I read the reviews and all of them were pretty good. It has little specks of glitter in it, but when you put it on the face, you can't really tell. So that's good, because nobody wants chunky glitter all over their face. And it smells really good. It smells like perfume. Also has kind of like a silicone feel, which I personally like. So far, so good. For foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This thing has instantly become one of my favorites. I reach for it all the time, and I'm not even kidding. Every single time I wear it, I always get compliments and people asking me what foundation I'm wearing. And it's only $6, and you can pick it up at your local drugstore. So, girl, go grab you one. It's so good, and it matches my skin perfectly right now. 
This is one of those Your Skin But Better foundations. I really like it. If you wanna get into makeup but you don't like the feel of like a cakey foundation, you should definitely try this. I love this foundation because it's so lightweight but it also gives you a lot of coverage. So you get the coverage that you want but you don't end up with your face feeling so cakey, which is great. This is why I use it every single day almost. And personally, I like to use a brush with it. I don't really like using the beauty blender with it. It does have buildable coverage, so if you wanna go ahead and add another layer, you can totally do that, but for me, I feel like one layer is perfect. Moving on to concealer, I'm using two today. I'm using the NYX concealer and the Maybelline Fit Me concealer on top of that. Just because the NYX one is in the shade medium, and right now I'm a little more on the paler side, so I'm going in with the color sand of the Maybelline Fit Me just to make it a little brighter. I'm not gonna lie, I really wanna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape, but we're sticking to drugstore products here, Kim. Sticking to drugstore products. <laughs> That's my favorite concealer ever. I feel like they made that especially for me, especially for moms. If you have those dark circles, girl, get you some Shape Tape concealer. It's a lifesaver. Ah, I'm running out of it, so I have to like scrape it out. Going ham with the concealer. I'm gonna use this pointed blender brush by Crown Brushes to blend it all out. And to set those under eyes, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Contour Palette right here. You can tell I love it because I'm hitting major pan. I'm gonna use the banana shade, of course. What I'm gonna do is just pat it underneath the eyes. You don't want to rub it because it's going to look super patchy. Just pat, 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 pat. To set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the powder for the foundation that we used. It's the Wet n Wild Press Powder in the color Warm Beige. And I'm going to use a big Real Techniques powder brush to just pat it all over the face. Moving on to the contour, I'm using that bronzer shade in the same palette and I'm using a very light hand because this stuff can get muddy real quick. Like if you don't use a light hand, it's going to look super muddy and then it's going to ruin the entire look and it's going to ruin your day. So yeah, super light hand. Don't forget your ears too because I feel like it always looks really funny when your face looks super bronze in your neck but your ears look really white. It's just weird. So don't forget those ears. I'm going back into that banana color and chiseling up the cheekbones. Gotta blend that in. Don't forget to blend it in. Today I'm not using any blush. I actually just wanna use a little bit, a very little bit of the darkest highlighter in the palette, the Carly Bible palette. I'm just gonna dust that over my cheeks. I'm gonna go back in and blend it out, but just putting a light layer first. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more with that Real Techniques brush. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the eyes just to finish them up. I'm using this NYX Slide On Glide On Black Liner to Tight Line. Every time I tight line, I feel like I'm gonna pop a contact out. <laughs> it's so weird. And then for the waterline, I'm using another slide on glide on liner in white. If you have smaller eyes, definitely try using a white eyeliner instead of a black one. It's a nice little trick to make your eyes look more wide and awake, and I think you really like it. I'm finishing my eyes off, so I'm gonna use more of that mauve shadow that we used in the crease, and I'm going to blend it into my lower lash line. By the way, this is just a cheapy chop little brush that I got from a drugstore palette, but I love it for underneath the eyes, for the inner corner and the highlight, which is what I'm about to use it for next. I'm gonna be using the lightest highlighter shade in the palette. Pop that into the brow bone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
and with that Kiko brush that we used earlier, I'm gonna blend that in just so it won't look so stark and white. Can't forget the inner corner highlight. Last step is just adding mascara to the lower lashes and we're officially done with the eyes. And of course, I'm using my tried and true L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. I don't think I'll ever use a different mascara. This thing is just amazing to me. I've been using it for years and I do not plan to switch anytime soon. Like I can try different mascaras and I have. I've tried so many different ones, but I always find my way back to this one. Nothing leaves my lashes like this. And at night, literally the best part is just washing it off because you peel it right off. It's not like other mascaras where it leaves like that black, you know, raccoon eyes effect. Ah, I got a little bit of mascara on my face, but I'm gonna show you guys the trick. Just wait for it to dry, take a little spoolie, and it's good as new. Highlighting the nose. I really like a beaming highlight on my nose for some reason. So I'm just gonna blend it out a little with my finger and then I'm gonna highlight the rest of my face a little bit because I feel like if it stops right there, it kind of looks funny. So taking my brush and bringing it further up along with highlighting the tops of my eyebrows, center of my forehead a little bit, highlighting the cheekbones, of course. I'm gonna mix these two to kind of get more of a pop. Ooh, I went a little, little crazy. Like what? I can't believe this palette is so cheap. I highlight my cupid's bow and underneath my lip. I forgot one thing. I'm actually gonna set my brows with the L'Oreal brow gel. I just feel like that brow pencil with this brow gel is the perfect combination. I wasn't sure what liquid lipstick I was gonna use today, but I'm pretty convinced that this is the perfect match. This is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the color Bustier or Bustier, however you prefer to pronounce it. But it's such a beautiful mauve liquid lipstick. I couldn't resist. Last and final step, I'm setting my face with the new e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. I used to love the original one, but they just came out with the illuminating one and they have the matte one, which I haven't tried yet. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna be bomb because the original one was so good, I always stocked up on it. So I'm glad that they came out with two different finishes. I'm interested to see if it's good or not. That's it guys, this is the final look. I hope you love it as much as I do. My goal is to create looks that are easy for everyone to recreate, so I hope that I accomplished that today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, drop a little comment down below, and if you loved it, don't forget to subscribe for more of me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.